Oh! Right everybody, ah, we're back for the fourth and final game of week number two of the AAF. I've got my Patriots hat on. Look, it's matching colours. What are you going to do? I would wear purple, but I don't have any. Or maybe, actually, come to think of it, hold on a sec. That's right, one of my all-time favourite tops, East Carolina. Okay. Red and purple looks absolutely terrible. We're going to go back with the beanie, I think. We're going to have Broncos beanie and my East Carolina Pirates top. Okay, Atlanta Legends versus San Diego Fleet. Now, I did mention in a previous video that the Atlanta Legends are going to be the team that I follow. Look, <laughs> I have to choose someone, don't I? I can't go through this this season like I did with the uh, NFL and not back a team because it's no fun you know I, I, I want the legends to do well unfortunately they lost 40 to 6 in their first game so I'm hoping I'm hoping fingers crossed that they do a bit better in this game let's have a look the quicker you here the faster you go that's why where I come from the only thing we know is oh. Atlanta legends versus the San Diego fleet Let's go. Where AJ Tartley and the San Diego Fleet look to get their first win against the visiting Atlanta Legends. Legends. So what was your best throw? Screen pass. Oh, I hear you. Young Way Koo, who hit two field goals last week from 38. Young Way Koo is always going to go down in history as being the first, the sorry, the the first player to score points in the AAF. Can you imagine that? He's, his his name's written in history, and he's just a kicker. For the Atlanta Legends, but now he is a legend. 27 hits this one. King got big last week as the third down receiver. He's number 89. Yeah. See that happening? Picked off of it, just lofted it up in the air. That was like that was like me uh, forgetting to hold down the pass button in Madden, throwing a lob instead of a bullet pass. What happened there? And Carlos Merritt from Campbell had that fall right into his hands, as easy a pick as you will get. San Diego turned the ball over three times, three picks last week, plus a month. Someone run a slant, for fuck's sake. Oh, good catch. Sims gets it back, sudden change, and fires a rocket to Monte Crockett on the sideline for 25. And he gets it into the red zone, inside the 20, 19 yard line for Sims, and he takes a shot up the seam. It's caught. I like that view. I haven't really seen a view from behind. Only in Madden. It is a touchdown for Malachi Jones. Fuck yeah! Yeah, it's always showing it from the side, isn't it? Yard score and Atlanta's first touchdown of the year. Well, when you throw those type of first touchdown of the year, good shit. Nine nil. So he can be big enough to handle the ball. If you throw it low, it's going to be a tough hit there. Sims just puts the ball. Are they going to convert the two point? Come on, give it to twenty-seven. Sims it. That ball is loose. Pick it up! Jesus! The two point conversion is no good. Philip Nelson is now back for his second. Go, go, go! Go, son! And Nelson, who ran for 10 yards last week, gets 15. They want a flag at the end. See, he's the guy who, um, who got his helmet knocked off last week, isn't it? And there it is. Is it? Yeah. In this situation, and lose this opportunity that you have to be the starting on the play for unnecessary roughness. <laughs> Nelson on second down. This one is caught, and that is good for a first down. It's the former San Diego State Aztec. No one seems to be getting very open. Cameron Kelly took this Dante's Ford in motion on first down for Nelson. Oh, Dumps it nice. Go Escobar. Escobar. He has a first down inside the 30 down to the 25. That is one name I will remember Escobar. <laughs> By Desmond Lawrence at a gain of 15. Saw him last week. Where are you going, mate? Where are you going? Go, son! And now gets up field close to a first down. San Antonio had a perfect example of a guy that the Alliance is meant for getting a second second look as Nelson is sacked back at this guy. I like that. Tracy Sprinkle out of Ohio State. Ben Reynolds there, so. Nelson was incomplete on third and 15, incomplete on third and 19. Scrambling on 12 on third and 11. This is third and nine, and he's going to let it go down the left sideline, and it's complete to Nelson Spruce for a first down. Big hit. We don't do our job. This is a 46 yard attempt. Have they only got cameras at the back for this game or something? Eggman hit from 47 last week. This one is no. good. Just inside. Just. 
the left up right. Two third down conversions and a touchdown. Malachi Jones with that one. Wadley on the backfield. Wadley makes one man miss, makes Pipkins miss, and then gets out of bounds. 20, 27. Sims. Who is 27 for the Legends? I have to look that up. I mean, that's, that's, you can't get better than that for me. Number 27 for the Legends. Okay. Number 27, Atlanta. And if he's a running back, that's even better. I think he's a receiver. Where does it have the list? The roster. Roster, here we go. Running back, 27, Akram Wadley. I didn't think 27 could be a running back. Wadley played at Iowa from 14 to 17. In his final collegiate game, he was named MVP of the Pinstripe Bowl after rushing for 88 yards with a touchdown. He went undrafted and went to the Titans. Let me see. He signed with the Tennessee Titans as an undrafted free agent on May 11th, 2018. He was waived, unfortunately, didn't make the squad. And 2019, he signed with the Legends. Well, all right then. 23 years of age, 1 meter 78 centimeters, 5 foot 10, 88 kilo. Okay. Very interesting. I'll be following him very closely. Up the seam, ball up in the air and picked off by Moeller. His second pick of the season had one last week. And here he gives San Diego a shot with 51 seconds left in the second quarter. Known 48. Nelson has time. Let's go. Let's go. Get smashed. Into Atlantic territory. That's going to be good for a first down. Take <laughs> 43 yard attempt. Has he got it? From the left side hash. And Higman is right through the uprights. And it is nice good. kick. He is two for two and four for four. And it is a nine. To six game. Mike Bartz is still looking for his first touchdown. He'll take the field goal though. He'll go try to call it 26. He's two for two from the 40s. This one is shorter and this one good. So he's three for three. Still no touchdowns for San Diego. Pocket get him, get him, get him. Oh, get him. Don't give up. Throws it back <laughs> over his shoulder and Jeff Luke almost had a pick. What? How big? Number 93. What a wide world of sports is that? He's huge. He's been in third and 15 and not third and 25 there. Yeah, well, uh, you see them overloading the right hand side of the offensive formation up front, right from the start. You see Tight end attack. Look at Escobar. He wants it. Spruce underneath. Good run. Field with a flag down, and for now, with the ball out, has Good it. Run. First down across the 30. Atlanta saying back the other way. As you try to sort this out, it's a first down with the flag. Runner is down. Now the first thing is we got offensive pass interference on the on the uh, San Diego fleet, and then secondly was the football out. Tyson Graham had the recovery. There's no official signal yet. We got the OPM. field on the call stands. How? How though? Offense number 82. Ruling on the field was a fumble recovered by the defense. The penalty is declined. It's first down Atlanta. 48. Who's that? Low snap again. Go. In the oh, yes. Good cut. Time over the right side. Gets by Brooks and he puts his shoulder down and he's got another first down through Good job, eventually. Good job, Wolf. Good job. Guy you think? You would get pumped up, eh? Give it to him. Oh, go, son. Get one. Go, Wadley. Go. Go. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice job. Good development of play. Second half points of the season. And that is what he does. A 26-yard field goal. Shot coup. And a live on NFL Network a couple of years ago. Jared Goff was coming out. And Ted Hamilton and Hugh Jackson downs him a football. I knew he was going to get space. I fucking knew it. On second and ten. Gardner gets 12 in the backfield. Yes. Reminds me of that Stacy from the other team. He's quite, he's short and, and big. Oh yes, beautiful. I like that. I really like that. I really like that. I want to see that again. That's the kind of thing I'd, I'd like to do on the field. You know, like, 
Don't worry about these freaking crazy passes like that. I mean, do a quick, do a few like, little pop passes, you know, little strong tosses. Oh, I like that. And obviously that wide receiver had to do his job, which he did. <laughs> he got cleaned up though. An eight-yard score for Jaquan Gardner, the first fleet trip to the end zone. Well, really, Marius, a good job. Put Watson in the middle, fake the dive, and give it to the speed guy outside. Well, you've been getting hurt by both yeah. running backs. Two-point try, a play fake. Incomplete. Muscle Joy had to take on a busted play. You see the quarterback. Where's Gardner going? You're smelling blood. Then Nelson started to slide behind the line of scrimmage. So That's where he's That's going. Has been oh, yeah. The Across the 30. Nice cut. Gardner down inside the Gee, he's, he's like a ball, isn't he? He's like a bloody. Well, not a ball, but a, a bull. You know, these, these cuts, he kind of runs like uh, Marshall and Lynch. That's what it reminds me of. And you can really see how they run with this this camera angle, which I've never really seen before. Game of 31. This is what we call old school trap, coach. Old school trap. Old this school trap. Down, you're pulling guards and, and centers backside and all these different things. And boom, he's happy. Touchdown early. Only touchdown of the year for the fleet in the backfield. Nelson, delay. Yeah, Gardner. Five. Gardner reaching for the end zone, and he is in. A seven yard score, his second of the fourth quarter, and San Diego pulls away. Damn. This is all, this is what Gardner's able to do, the quickness. He finds a way to read the lineman, get to hole, use that quickness and burst to get through the set. Who's that? San Diego Fleet. Um, where's my mouse here? Jaquan Gardner. Okay. He doesn't have a, a, uh, Wikipedia page. That's surprising. Jaquan Gardner, running back. Five foot seven. Wow, he is quite short. He hasn't played in the NFL. What what's he what did he do? 49ers signed running back Jaquan Gardner on the August 28th. To a three-year deal, Gardner, five foot seven, two hundred five, attended Humboldt State University. In four years with the Lumberjacks, he appeared in forty-two games, registered eight hundred and eighty carries for five thousand four hundred ninety-two, ninety-five yards, seventy-two touchdowns. Shit, that's insane. <laughs> he also added eighty-one receptions for seven hundred sixty-seven yards. Jeepers, man! So what's he doing in the? What's he doing in the AAF? Quickness. He finds a way to read the line. Five seven. Use that quickness and burst to get through the second level and drop his shoulder pads and drag guys in the end zone. He gave a chance to extend it to 11. Four minutes on the clock. Irvin Phillips is 82 on the left of your screen. And there's Watson trying to get around the right side, reaching for the end zone, but he is down inside the one. And then he gets down. Game over, right? Then we can steal on it. I said, sometimes you just gotta fake it. So sometimes when I come down that league on Wednesday, I'm faking it. <laughs> Dottie Eggman's off for a 33-yard field goal try. He has made his previous three today, and he makes this one as well. Oh, he lucky. He's four for four on the night, and six for six on the season. And San Diego is doubling up Atlanta, 24 to 12, with 35 seconds. 35 seconds. And Come on. Tough one Give me something. Coyle, still looking for that first win. Give it to 27. Yes. And Do something. Back out here throwing the screen, trying Go to get some. Going with from Wadley as the clock is going to run from, out. Eight from Wadley. Mike Marks. 24 to 12. Since is going to get one more play. Quick huddle. Let's go. Give it to Wadley. Give it to Wadley. Yes! Do something! Go some! Wadley has also looked good today. In defeat. Yeah, not bad. Tough road for them, three out of four to open up the season on the road before the second half of the season at home. But congratulations. Alright, 24 to 12. Actually, we'll continue what? Jaquan Gardner of the San Diego Fleet winning tonight. Beating the Atlanta Legends 24-12 to even their record of 1-1. One one. Gentlemen, this has been fun.
Isn't it great, Andrew? It's great, Andrew. It's really been a, uh, you know, really feel good about San Diego. Their ability to get some offensive touchdowns tonight. Feel good about the fleet. And the quarterback play is getting better as we watch the game. Just can't wait to see what next week's going to be like. Even Matt Sims in the defeat as well. 18 for the books. Two weeks. I can't wait to see what next week's going to be like. Books. On the Alliance. We end week two. With the Alliance of American Football. Limbaugh. No, I'm just joking. All right. Well, that was that. That was that. Another week done. I really, really hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just stoked that I've got a team, man, that I can back. And I've got, now I've got a running back that I can back too. So, you know, I'm happy. I'm done. I'm done for the season, mate. <laughs> I'll just be watching him but uh, no I'll be watching every single game so stay tuned to the channel if you have liked this one hit the like button if you want to subscribe for more you want to see my reactions to these games throughout the season hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell if you hadn't and I will see you soon peace out everybody Something like that. Man, I just want to celebrate.